गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर श्री चवन प्रेजेंटेड द यूनियन बजट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन हिज पॉलिटिकल करियर श्री चवन इज ए वेरी एक्सपीरियंस्ड पॉलिटिशियन एंड एन एबल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ही हैज हेल्ड ए नंबर ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट पोजिशन इन द पास्ट ही हैज बीन द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ ए प्रोग्रेसिव स्टेट लाइक महाराष्ट्र होम मिनिस्टर एंड मिनिस्टर ऑफ डिफेंस एट द सेंटर एंड हेल्ड ए नंबर ऑफ अदर पोजिशंस आई एम इम्प्रेस्ड बाई हिज एबिलिटीज सिंस लॉन्ग द वे ही गेव एन अकाउंट ऑफ हिज एक्सपीरियंस एंड फार साइटेडनेस वाइल प्रजेंटिंग हिज मेड एन बजट इज इंडीड कमेंडेबल दिस बजट इज कमेंडेबल एंड सिग्निफिकेंट इन मैनी रिस्पेक्ट्स द टेम्पो मेंटेन्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट सिंस नाइनटीन एटी फॉर एलिवेटिंग पॉवर्टी एंड प्रोवाइडिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू द पीपल इज प्रेज वर्दी द एफर्ट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट हैव रिजल्टेड इन एन इंक्रीज इन दीज एक्टिविटीज ईयर आफ्टर ईयर एंड दिस टू इज कमेंडेबल बट दिस ईयर द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर हैज ब्रोकन ऑल प्रीवियस रिकॉर्ड्स एज ही हैज गिवन स्पेशल इम्पीटर्स टू द पॉवर्टी एलिवेशन प्रोग्राम इन द बजट द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट अमंग ऑल दीज प्रोग्राम्स इज द जवाहरलाल नेहरू रोजगार योजना अंडर विच देर इज ए प्रपोजल टू प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू वन मेंबर इन ईच फैमिली इन वन ट्वेंटी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट इज इन इट सेल्फ ए रेवोल्यूशनरी स्टेप आवर पार्टी हैज डिसाइडेड दैट एम्प्लॉयमेंट मस्ट बी गिवन टू एट लीस्ट वन पर्सन इन ईच पुअर फैमिली ऑल ओवर द कंट्री दो डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एज टू हाउ दिस स्कीम विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड हाउ एम्प्लॉयमेंट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड आर स्टिल टू कम बिफोर एस येट आई वुड लाइक टू प्रेज दिस बोल्ड डिसीजन द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ विच विल रीच लैक्स एंड करोर्स ऑफ पीपल थ्रू आउट द कंट्री एंड विल प्रोवाइड रिलीफ टू दैम a number of concessions have been given to poor people in this budget with a view to providing them relief but at the same time it gave a setback to the middle class so far as i can understand the budget will in no way affect the rich people first of all i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister to poverty alleviation programs because the government is earmarking huge funds for these programs now it becomes the duty of the central government to see that the money reaches the people properly it is not today only but for years that the honorable members have been expressing the view that the beneficiaries do not receive the full amount of money that is earmarked for them there could have been some difference of opinion had even 25% of the funds reached the people but it is an acknowledged fact and the government even the prime minister has admitted that the money released from the center under poverty alleviation programs or employment programs does not reach the people it is all the more distressing that in spite of the fact that we agree with this view and know everything so far no effective step has been taken to ensure that the full amount reaches the people only two agencies are involved in this work the central government allocates the money and the state governments implement the programs it is the central government that knows the extent to which the guidelines issued by them are followed by the state governments one thing is certain that once the money reaches the district and block level the central government has no control over it it is said that 
monitoring is being done but how and in what way it is done so far i have not seen any representative of the central government going to the block level and verifying the work done or inquiring from the people and listening to them the central government has not taken any steps in this regard the honorable prime minister has also been saying that out of 6 rupees only 1 rupee reaches the people and the remaining amount is spent on administration i would like to cite the instance of uttar pradesh in this state there is a district development officer in each district to look after the development works nowadays all works have come to a standstill the officers have no work to do the district ruler development agency a parallel agency has its parallel office and parallel staff but the agencies of the state government are silent nobody knows what they are doing except attending to routine administrative work most of the state governments do not undertake any development work out of their own resources construction of roads in rural areas is the primary work of the state governments but no state government is utilizing its resources on construction of roads in rural areas they are undertaking this work with the funds received from the central government salaries are being paid and expenditure is being incurred but the department of the state government is sitting idle with no work it is, is it not possible for the concerned department of the state government to undertake this work it could have been converted into the district rural development agency what is the need of separate departments separate bureaucrats and separate staff the entire funds are being spent on the maintenance of staff honorable minister of finance might be aware that the state governments do not want to mobilize resources they are not imposing any fresh taxes we come to know from newspapers and air and tv news that such and such state passed a tax free budget today no state is prepared to impose any tax they want to undertake all the works with the funds received from the center every state whether it is the congress ruled or non congress ruled alleges that the central government is discriminating against it it has become a tendency with the state governments not to levy any taxes they want to depend entirely on funds given by the center all the state governments whether it is the congress or the non congress government want to avail of the credit facility